Hello, hello, hello. Before we start this podcast episode, this episode is for educational purposes only. Uh, There will also be some very triggering topics or discussions in this episode. You are warned. Enjoy. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to my How Blueberries podcast episode. My name is Billy if you're new here, and if you're not, welcome back. So before we start jumping into me dating and all the other stuff that people want to know about i want to talk about something that's so important on my podcast channel or whatever you want to call this platform podcasting podcaster so as you guys know i am very touchy about the topic of mental health and something i have known over me growing as a person myself is I haven't been taking care of my mental health, you know, correctly. Mental Health Awareness Month is on May 1st of 2024 on a Wednesday and on May 31st on a Friday. So pretty much it has not, you know, been Mental Health Month yet. But for myself, every day is a Mental Health Month for me because that's where I am able to just, you know, relax and kind of just let my body reset on a Sunday like a sunday week pretty much that being said there's something that i want to talk about that's really personal into my life and for the viewers who are watching this if you don't want to hear this please just skip out of this part um yeah so there are people who know me in real life of course that's like common sense you know and there's people who do know that i have a podcast on here There's certain stuff I can't say on my story because Instagram will take it down. And, you know, same for YouTube and stuff like that. But they're more, like, not that strict about it while Instagram is. So I'm able to talk about this on my podcast episode. But back in 2022-ish, I was playing a game. That being said, me and this person, you know, we talked a lot through via dms and stuff like that um but something happened with me and this person and we just ended off on a really bad note summary we've ended but we both ended off in a really bad really bad note and there wasn't a good ending to our dms and our conversation it just got really bad it got really awkward it just wasn't you know good i don't know what it was i think it it affected both our mental health i don't know how it happened i don't know if this it was the toxicity of the game that we were playing but either way it harmed both our mental health but it harmed more of my mental health through that year of 2022 because i lost a lot of people who i thought were my friends i also lost a lot of you know people that i knew really well um and it was great that I did lose them only like in a way of you know they were fake and I was able to kind of like learn from that because without those people who did harm me I wouldn't have like been who I am today and I'm really proud of that specifically because something about you know not able to learn a lesson about friends is so you know, that should be normalized more in our society. And to that, you know, I want to say people should start doing that more. Not like, not like breaking friends up or ruining your mental health, but where you're able to teach yourself this lesson where not everybody can be as real as you think they can be. Like, not everybody's going to be as nice or as butterfly and sunshine as you think they're going to be. Not everybody's going to be, you know, fake or not everybody's going to be who you think they're going to be that being said the year 2022 of itself pretty much was a whole toll on my mental health and i physically couldn't do anything about it because i was just stuck in this one area where i always see these people every single day and i couldn't really like you know unsee them if you know what i mean but the person who really was taking a toll on my mental health was the person who i played a bunch of video games with um and it's not like i'm blaming on them of course it was just a lot of personal stuff that i can't say online again because you know they probably don't want it to be said online and i probably don't want them to say online either there are a lot of rumors that 
was skeptical of me and this person quote unquote ever dating in reality we weren't ever dating we were just physically duo friends but people took it the wrong way and you know what that's on them if people want to take it that way but to this day my name is still getting dragged through the mud with this person and it's kind of difficult for me to kind of like not talk about it i talked about it on my story constantly um but something that you know can really bother somebody like me personally of that situation like the situation of that in even their name popping up kind of gives me like freaking anxieties only because we went through so much stuff we as in we both went through so much crap together through dms and the dms itself was so toxic that i was pretty much happy that stuff ended on not even a good way but it ended on a bad way which kind of still hurts my heart a bit because i always think about that situation like if there was something that i could have done better or um what was something that i could have done on my end or you know there's something that was definitely a stretch where i could have done something right and i didn't and i just left it there because i thought that it was gonna be okay like i thought it was gonna be like a band-aid and then boom it's gonna heal up the next week but no it wasn't just a band-aid and heal up and boom it was more but of course none of us had this type of feeling where we were able to express that way and so we ended off on a really bad term and we argued a lot more than i've ever argued more than my cousin pretty much and me and my cousin argue frequently but of course you know we argue where it'll calm down the next day and we will be okay about it for me and this person we would argue so harsh that it kind of hurted our mental health and we couldn't we both couldn't tell if it was joking or not and it got so serious that like it wasn't a joke anymore but for me and this person we said stuff where it couldn't get taken back like you couldn't say like oh well i'm sorry for us i said that to you in that moment like it there wasn't a way where they could have you know taken that word back and it kind of like hurt my body a little bit at least because i was like ouch i can't believe that's how they felt about me and all this time i've been playing with them and stuff like that now of course i am probably making the sound making the situation sound way more dramatic than it's supposed to be but what i'm saying is that my mental health ever since that day has not been pretty great including adding on high school i constantly think about me and them only because of the situation that happened where it completely escalated and it wasn't you know mature and it wasn't appropriate that we did that through dms and i'm happy that we did that in dms though because i didn't want it to bring up online where everybody knew about our business and i also just want to say i do apologize in general if i do speak too fast or if i stutter over a word or if i mess up my grammar a bit i'm just you know all over the place and this topic specifically is a really strong sensitive topic about me and this person of course i was the one who brought it up on social media not our arguments like that but just stuff that i don't think they wanted to be shared in via instagram and people took it the wrong way where they think that we were dating and i can't clear my name up ever since even though the bunch of times i've told people that we are not dating we weren't ever dating and what makes it worse is that the person who i did argue with who i did not date at all can't back me up and said oh no we didn't date i said their name by accident now of course i was in the wrong in that situation because i posted you know screenshots of our dm just like like skim bits of it on dms of our dms sorry on via instagram and people took it the wrong way thinking that we were dating and even to this day i've been constantly you know declining the accusations about me and this person dating because we weren't ever dating and that was pretty much the end of the story but there's a problem to that side where i kept on saying that we weren't dating but every time that i think somebody would ask them about it they would say nothing about it which makes it seem like we did have a secret like weird dating thing which we didn't and 
that kind of also told my mental health a bit because nonstop people were like, oh, are you thinking about them because you posted this on your story? Or is this song about them? Or is this real about them? Or is this, this, or this about them? And it's like, just because I post something doesn't mean that's always about them. Hi there, Editing Blueberry here. The segment of this episode that you're going to be hearing next is going to be a bit confusing. So let me just cl- clear it up before you guys listen to this part of the segment. So what I was trying to say was that whenever I posted a story about something, people would quickly assume that it was about them or hinted about them. And so I would get tons of DMs of people asking, like, is this story about them or is this real about them or is this song about them? And I'll constantly tell them, no, it's not. And they would not believe me. And I got so tired of that, that I turned off my DMs for my stories. So then people couldn't reach out to me about it through my DMs. And even to this day, I still get harassed by those people. Not by those people, but by people who do ask about it. And I don't want to say if I don't want to exaggerate and go be all dramatic in the person who do say if, if it's about them or not in our dms because it seems like i'm defending myself because we did secretly dated in reality we didn't i'm in real in reality we did not date and it looks like i'm just trying to defend myself which i am but people can take it the wrong way which is unfortunate but i can't do anything about it no matter how many times i've told people i've probably told people like a dozen times already probably more than a dozen times and people still don't believe me And the person who I did not date can't back me up on this and say like, hey, like me and this person didn't date, you know, leave them alone. Leave me alone, please. Like this is nobody's business. But they just sit there quietly in the corner and not do anything about it, which kind of aggravates me a little bit because it is annoying and I don't like it like that. Like, you know. My name hasn't been cleared up since in it. I've been trying to, but it's difficult because it's online. It's out there. That being said, they were kind of the one who did told my mental health a lot because I constantly do think about the situation every single day. I look through our DMs pretty much every single day. Not every single day, but days where, you know, they do bring back a memory because of what happened between me and them i think it you know the damage is done pretty much so i can't do anything about it now there is a big question where a lot of people was like oh would you ever want to go back to them and be friends with them and stuff like that and the answer is it's really up to them i'm not gonna say an answer because it makes me look bad but you know if people know me well enough they probably would have known the answer already And if you don't, you just don't know the answer, which is completely fine. Like, I'm not trying to make you learn more about my life because you really don't need to. But there was questions where people were asking me like, oh, but if they were to via DM you or this and this, yada, 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 would you want to be friends with them still? And it's hard to explain that because right now it hasn't happened yet. And they're under smiley phase journey and I'm on my own journey and stuff like that. So there's really no way that we could ever cross path. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, that's pretty much all for my mental health problem. And I'm so sorry that it's such a big gap because it shouldn't be. I made a poll on my story asking my viewers what they want to see next on my podcast episode. And I gave them three options. The most picked one was the online dating one. I guess people want to know more about my love life, which I don't have one because it's non-existent. But I do not mind sharing my reason why I cannot online date. I can't really online date only because, I don't know. I don't really see myself posting pictures of myself on the internet where it's on a dating app. I can see myself posting myself. I can see myself posting myself on my own story and stuff like that, but I just can't see it on the internet on a dating app. It's just it's just incredibly weird. Um but at the same time, you know, I always want to try for the experience, but it's just gonna be hella awkward because you don't know how they're expressing their mood through text tones because it's difficult. 
Another reason why I can't online date is because you got to put 20 times more effort into another person that you don't even know. A lot of people that I do know that are dating are always through mutual. So it's so much easier to just talk to them. And plus, you probably won't ever meet them ever again, pretty much. Or hopefully you don't. Online dating, on the other hand, you got to take it more seriously. Sorry, there's a bug in my room. You got to take online dating more seriously. Only because they are probably taking it seriously. It's difficult to explain now. But mutuals and strangers is com- two com- completely different things. So, there you go. I don't really have like a good reason why I can't online date. I think just think that I think that I'm a very awkward person, so that's why I can't online date. I don't know. I can't really say much about it because it's something that I haven't done yet. But also, I do have a lot of online friends who have online dated and the experience never went well. They either broke up after two years or three years. Um, some last a long time, others just keep on going through quick fra- uh, phases and then just go back into, into the dating community. I know one of my o- online friends dated like a bunch of guys, but then she stopped dating them all and she started looking for a real significant other in real life and she found one. So congrats to that person. I didn't know who they are. Now, there are other friends of mine who are online daters who are hella fine and hella you know, handsome and hot and whatever people want to call them, but they just can't find that person yet because they're not looking for it in the right direction. I'm sorry to say that. (laughs) Overall, I just can't online date and I don't see myself online dating anytime soon only because it's definitely one of my backup plans and I've told people constantly, online dating is a backup plan. I'm probably only going to touch it if I'm really desperate and needing a love life. Of course, my parents always drags me to me getting a significant other in this age that they think I am, but absolutely not. I'm not trying to go and look for one. It's incredibly weird, and I find it awkward, and I'm an awkward person when it comes to relationships. I don't know. So, yeah. On the other hand, I do want to talk about my high school life. I recently haven't been feeling the best about myself definitely feel a bit overwhelmed through high school life of being a sophomore so don't apologize for that because i don't want people to think that i'm just leaving this podcast of course i'm not i would never do that that's no such thing that i would ever do but um yeah high school life is going through some rocks a lot of rocks it's also on thin ice and slippery ice that i can't walk past through so just letting everybody know that for now But anyways, this episode has been long enough, so let's just get to the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching or watching or listening, depending on what platform you're looking at. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching this week's podcast episode. I hope everyone drinks some water, and I'll see you guys all next week for the next upcoming podcast episode. Make sure to follow all my social medias, which will be linked in the link tree in the description down below. Also, this episode is not sponsored, and I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.